Kelvin McKenzie, the former editor of The Sun, of course, on this issue and indeed on what more is to come for these leadership candidates. I suppose, Kelvin, the first question is, we've still got weeks of this leadership contest to go. What more is there to be said now? Uh, well, I think probably too much has been said already, frankly. I think we've come to the end of the useful life of these debates. You know, they're, they're giving their views every single day. And the interesting thing is that as the projected energy prices go up, the give by um, by the taxpayer, whether we're giving it whether we're giving it away through taxes uh, that they're going to have to go up, or we're giving it away in debts, which are going to be with us for a thousand years anyway, they're also going up. This has now become a bidding war between two people with my money. I object to all this. I absolutely object to it. I'm not against the skint get, getting, you know, some kind of new social tariff. I'm not against that. But I am against the middle classes deciding mm. whether the, the, it, it, the, their social the money, they won't be going to Crete this year. They might have to go to, I, I don't know, Sidges or even worse than that, go to Guernsey. I mean, that is what's happened. It, it's gone on too long and it is really damaging the Conservative Party. Now, look. You know, as Harold Wilson said, you know, a week is a long time in politics. Honestly, a, a TV hustings is a long time in politics now. It, it is just getting out of control. And uh, uh, look, Tom, GB News, Talk TV, ITV, even even that idiot woman at Sky are entitled to their views, right? But I think ordinary people basically have had enough and actually would much prefer it if. The, if the decision was over and real decisions could be made about our money, they're talking about our money as though it is their money. It is, it is preposterous. And just finally now in this programme, where is the Labour Party on all of this? It feels like we haven't heard much from them at all. Gordon Brown, not the last leader of the Labour Party, not even the last but one leader of the Labour Party, but two before that. He's the person that's making well, news in terms of saying stuff about... Where on earth is Sir Keir Starmer? Right, he's nowhere, because he says, you two guys, you, you two people, uh, Truss and, and Sunak, are tearing each other apart. You don't need any help from me, right? I'm going to keep stum and just see what, what, you know, how you could destroy yourselves. But the other thing to remember about Gordon Brown, by the way, while he was chancellor and while he was leader, voted repeatedly to block and stop uh, nuclear, more nuclear in our country. One of the reasons why we're up to here in, in debt and, and the like, or facing that over the next two or three years anyway, is down to Gordon Brown's account. Why doesn't he address why I turned down nuclear? I'd be much more interested in that than him coming up, you know, from his eerie in, um, in Fife. Uh, handing out these rather good ideas of how to spend my money uh, f on behalf of uh, people who really, the middle classes, have just got to take the pain. They have to take the pain. It's a really, really important point you raised there. Uh, Margaret Thatcher in her time approved three new nuclear power stations. The next three prime ministers after her didn't approve one between them. Really significant yeah. in terms of our situation now. But uh, we're at the end of the show. Thank you so much, Kelvin McKenzie, for your view. Always really, really appreciated.